Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another installment in my decluttering series. Here we have face products, so primers, foundations, and concealers, and setting sprays. Um, this is only just a little, like, small portion of some of my face products. This is, I haven't reached for a lot of the stuff that's in here in a while. Um, because I have used my more everyday things that I actually use over here already. So all of this has been decluttered. And yeah, so now all I have left to go through is this. And we'll see what I keep and what I don't keep. Alright, you guys, so we're just going to go ahead and jump in here. Um, so first starting off, we have this Lancome foundation. You guys, I actually love this foundation. Not to use like all over my face, but when I want something really, really natural, it's not going to give me much coverage at all. And I just want to spot conceal and have it blend into my skin and not look like anything. I love to go for this. So I am going to go ahead and keep it. Maybe soon I'll buy the full size bottle. Although... I've been using this little mini size for I feel like at least two to three weeks and I still haven't ran out. So maybe maybe I won't buy a full size bottle because I could see myself, you know, like it going expired before I finish it. But yeah, love it. Next we have the Milani Make It Last Original Setting Spray. This is a bit old. This is a bit old, but I think it's still good. So I am going to go ahead and keep it for now. Next, we have this CoverGirl Clean Fresh powder. It just it looks like this. I have used this powder. Absolutely love it. I, let me see, what is it? Expire? Oh, it says 30 months, so that's well over two years. That's like two and a half years. I probably had that powder for like maybe a year, year and a half at most. So I am going to keep it for right now. Um, then we have these three, which are all the e.l.f. primers, the putty primers. We have Luminous, Matte, and Poreless. I am going to keep. For sure, we're going to keep the poreless one. I think I'm gonna keep the poreless one and the luminous one, but I am going to get rid of this matte one. I just don't use it enough. And the formula feels different than the other two. You know, it is supposed to be matte, so that could be a reason why the formula feels different. However, I just feel like it's much thinner and it's not as thick and I don't like that. Next, we have these AOA concealers. We have Soft Tan, Honey, and Nude. I am going to go ahead and keep all of these because I just mix them depending on what I need. Um, but yeah, so these are fairly new. Next, we have the e.l.f. Puff Puff Primer. I haven't had the chance to use this at all. Let me see how it smells. Mmm... Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the smell that it has going on. I don't know if it normally smells like that or if it's just expired by now. <clears throat> I'm just going to assume it's expired because of how long, you know, I've had it. Maybe I'll go ahead and I'll look up the reviews. If it has good enough reviews, I'll probably repurchase it again. But for now, I'm getting rid of it. Next, we have the Beauty Creations Stay Flawless Foundation. This is in the shade 8.5. I 
I still haven't used this foundation, so I'm really excited. Um, I really need to go ahead and give this foundation a try. So I am going to keep it. Then I have the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. I haven't used this foundation either. I probably just swatched it, but I haven't used it on my face. It is pretty old. Like I, I don't even need to explain to you guys anymore. But let me go ahead and smell it. It still smells perfectly fine, so I am going to keep it for now so I can try it. And then lastly, we have this concealer. This is from this brand. I cannot pronounce it. Um, but this concealer is really expensive, y'all. So I'm definitely not getting rid of this. And I'm probably not going to use it on my face ever again because it is most definitely expired. It just looks like this. But this concealer is like 80 buckaroos, and I'm not going to get rid of it, but I am going to keep it for like sentimental value. But yeah, out of this whole declutter, we only got rid of two things. Um, Let me just go ahead and show you those things real quick. Yes, so in this declutter, this is what we're keeping, and then I'm only getting rid of those two primers. Um, But yeah, that's not that bad for... Considering I decluttered this drawer not too long ago and I haven't bought any new like foundations since I decluttered it and these are just other new foundations that I have in here, this is great. Um, and I already have my other face products over there anyways. So yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys want to see next and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful blessed day. Bye. Alrighty, so this is how my drawer looks with the concealers, foundations, and primers put in here. I still have to declutter my blushes and bronzers, so that's what will be going in these two containers over here. Um, I also haven't bought any containers from here. I'm kind of just using what I have around. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.